Yes, I spoke with the sheriff earlier today and he says that they are suspending that weekend program. Some people serve out their sentences at the jail on the weekend so they can keep their Monday through Friday job. However, they are putting that program on hold because of COVID. Now, earlier today we spoke with the sheriff. We spoke with an inmate and two people part of this program to hear what they had to say about all this. It's 50 50 for me. It's uh kind of good and kind of bad. The bad thing is, is I, of course, I want to get, get this out of the way and over with, but uh, the good news is now I get to go to Myrtle Beach next weekend. Guy Breesucker is part of a group of 80 who will not be showing up at the Virginia Beach Jail this weekend to serve their sentence. The sheriff and judges decided to suspend the weekend program out of fear of COVID. Another weekend inmate gave her opinion as well. Of course I want it to be done, but I also have to consider my health as well. Every time somebody penetrates the skin of the jail, I'm concerned about whether they have COVID or not. The sheriff says right now they have zero COVID cases among inmates and staff, and he says no one has died at the jail from COVID. But months ago, they hit a peak with 144 inmates and about 20 staff members with COVID. It's been a nightmare. They say 46% of inmates are vaccinated. The jail says they offer vaccines about once a month. When I first came in, they um, offered me the vaccine, so I went and got it. I got the Johnson & Johnson. The jail says they've vaccinated over 460 inmates inside since the beginning of the pandemic, and this inmate says he's grateful. You know, being in confined like this with a bunch of people, all it takes is one person and it's spread fast. The sheriff believes COVID may have previously been spread through the vents in the building. They made changes to how they were housing people. He also says they're considering separating vaccinated inmates from unvaccinated ones, but they're currently analyzing the logistics behind that. Overall, he says for law enforcement the past year between civil unrest, staffing issues and COVID has been tough. I've been in law enforcement for 44 years now, 43 years now. It's the most difficult year I've ever seen in law enforcement for the deputies, for the staff, for everybody involved.